Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden packs? Look no further than my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest and the most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 5% off. A link for their website is at the top of the description. What's going on guys? Today we are ranking all of the cards in the ultimate kickoff promo and putting them on a tier list. Before we get started today, we have our shout out of the day. Shout out to my man Grayson for commenting the emoji on last video. And of course, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications, stick around for the emoji of the day. And as always, thank you for watching today's video. So here is the ultimate kickoff tier list. And I'm not going to lie, this promo looks super average. It looks very very average and i was really hoping that at least every team was gonna get an 87 they didn't a lot of the stats are underwhelming a lot of the names are underwhelming in my opinion but while i'm recording this right now we still don't know who the champions or the ltd is gonna be but those cards will be ranked at the end of today's video but uh yeah this promo looks super average right now but hopefully you know the champions and the ltd can maybe turn that around for the promo but who really knows I feel like last year the champions carried the kickoff promo, so hopefully the same happens this year. But uh, yeah, let's just get started with the brand new 87, Robert Woods. So here is the man himself, Bobby Trees, six foot slot archetype, pre big slot omatic, 85 speed, 87 short, 87 mid. This card definitely could play well. I just don't really see a point in going after him outside of, you know, a Bills, a Titans, or a Rams team. So for that reason, I'm going to put the 85 speed Robert Woods right behind this Bears left end, Al Quadin Al Muhammad. Al Quadin Muhammad. That's how you say his name. I'm putting Robert Woods right behind him. And next man up, we have a card who I think is very similar to Robert Woods, and that is Amari Cooper. This card definitely could have been better. I mean, definitely could have been better maybe like juiced his route running but same speed as robert woods i would debate a worse archetype than robert woods depending on what you want to do i would probably prefer slot archetype right now with how short ends work but i don't think it's that it's not gonna make that big of a difference but still 85 speed and i believe how tall is amari cooper this year let's see how tall he is probably like six foot they, they definitely didn't make him under six foot he is six foot one so an inch taller than robert woods but i'm still gonna put i'm still gonna put robert woods um over um amari cooper but both either way b tier low b tier cards so next up we have the 87 overall strong safety keanu neal and i think keanu definitely will play best in the box or as a user at six foot one 86 speeds actually pretty solid for this promo um 90 hit power with that 86 zone and 87 pursuit so i would probably use keanu in the box not saying that he can't play over the top, but 86 speed over the top, just a little bit spooky when he's your last line of defense. So uh, yeah, I still think Keanu's definitely, you know, a, an A tier 87 from this promo, but I think used correctly. I think used correctly, he's there. And next up, we have another six foot one defensive back, and that is cornerback Shabarius Ward with the pre baked deep in zone KO, I believe is what it's called deep in zone ko i'm pretty sure that is what they call it but 86 speed at 6-1 with good zone coverage good press good jumping i would say for sure on like a chiefs or niners team this card's a good option but as far as this promo does go depending on what your team looks like which most likely you don't need corners after ea has given us two free ones over the last you know week or so if you do need a corner though this card's a pretty solid b and d option but like i said gilmore woolen they exist so most likely you don't want another free cornerback that you can't get rid of so Shavarius Ward he's good but we're gonna put him in front of Keanu Neal the next man up is Casey Hayward I believe he will get Falcons I there's no way I remember this I think it's Falcons Green Bay Falcons Green Bay Raiders uh Chargers are those all his teams let me check let me see if I actually got that right Hopefully that'd be a W. Am I missing a team? What did I say? Chargers, Green Bay, Falcons, Raiders. Am I missing one? Chargers, Falcons. We'll see. Um, no, I got them all. There we go. Good work by me right there. Good job. But Casey Hayward is a 5'11, 86 speed, 87 acceleration. 
He's more of a man, more of a man corner than a zone corner, but still has solid in both stats. I think on one of those theme teams, this card is a must-have. Outside of a theme team, I would probably just go after Shavarius Ward because he has two inches on him, and we all know how ags work in this game. So we are going to throw Casey Hayward at a low B tier. I mean, sorry, high B tier. Um, I would say high B tier, fringe, low A tier. I, that's where I'd put Casey Hayward. Uh, next man up is the six foot one free safety 86 speed Marcus Williams with that deep route KO and also having 86 man coverage. It's not often that you see a free safety in this game that has better man than zone coverage, which could be interesting, especially in the zero meta, being able to put him over the top and, you know, play solid man coverage, even though his speed isn't anything too crazy. But I would say, you know, on a Ravens or a Saints team, this card looks like a pretty big W, like a very big W. So yeah, Marcus Williams, we're going to put him at A tier right in between Keanu Neal and Shavarius Ward. The next man up is Browns legend Baker Mayfield with the 3 AP roaming Deadeye. 79 speed, 87 throw power, 87 short, 84 mid, 85 deep. Good throw under pressure, good throw on the run, 87 play action. This card will be used. He is very usable. He's not bad. He's not that good for the current QB meta right now, even though I don't think there's really a current QB meta right now. There really isn't that many great quarterbacks. But, but Baker Mayfield will be solid. Won't be anything out of the ordinary, but solid for sure. So we're going to throw Baker Mayfield at high B tier, right behind Casey Hayward and right in front of Andrew Norwell, who I just added. I forgot to put him on here. So if you were looking for Andrew Norwell, I added him to the tier list. A next man up is the Madden legend himself, 87 overall Raheem Mostert with the backfield mismatch, which is actually going to be pretty good because this ability is going to cover up his low catching rating. So if you do run backfield mismatch, He'll be a really good pass catcher. But Raheem, 87 speed, which is the second fastest in the game for any running back. 88 acceleration, solid COD. And also Raheem has played for the Browns, the Dolphins, the Ravens, the Bears, the Niners, and the Dolphins again. He went back to the Dolphins. So Raheem's played for a good amount of teams and being able to get him to, to you know, 88 or 89 speed is going to be a major W. So Raheem's going to be good. Raheem's going to be good. I think could definitely be a really solid B and D option without question. So I'm going to put Raheem up here at a tier in front of Shaveri's ward the next man up is the 87 overall nakobe dean with the 85 speed 87 acceleration 89 hit power 84 block shed 84 play rec and 87 tackling the only problem with this card is the fact that he's 511 and as a middle linebacker user it's gonna make him animate even less because he's shorter but I do still think this card could get some usage as like uh, maybe a run stopper. Put him in when if a guy's running the ball a lot against you or put him in as like an outside linebacker if you want to drop him into coverage or have him rush the passer and help against the run. But outside of that, I don't really see much use for N'Kobe Dean. And, and by the way, he only does get Eagles chems with him being a rookie. We're going to put N'Kobe Dean. We'll throw him at low B tier. I'm happy with that. I think he's solid. I think he's solid. Nothing crazy though. And for the final 87 we are looking at today, we have the left outside linebacker, Anthony Barr. This card should be a monster. I, I really wish that they gave him Lurker. He's not going to get Lurker. I think Lurker should have been his pre-baked ability. But if you don't know, Anthony Barr is six foot eight. 87 speed is, I believe, as fast as Derek Johnson, right? Isn't that how fast Derek Johnson is? And the fact that, yeah, Derek Johnson, 87 speed. So... Six foot eight, or sorry, six foot five. Anthony Barr, six foot five. I messed up. He's not, so he's not, he's not Donald Parham. He's six foot five. And Barr doesn't even have, he's not even in the game right now. Anthony Barr is not even in the game yet. That's pretty crazy. But yeah, he's six five, not six eight. Sorry. Six foot five, not six foot eight. But either way, a six foot five user tied for the fastest linebacker in the game. The only problem is no lurker. That's the only issue. That's the only issue with this card. No lurker. Outside of that, he can actually rush the passer pretty good, which is honestly pretty surprising for an anthony bar card usually they give him no pass rushing stats but good against the run good height and can be dropped in the zone i would imagine that this card's gonna have some decent zone coverage to kind of back up all his physical attributes so we're gonna put anthony bar easily at number one amongst all the 87s now let's get into the champions okay so we are here a couple hours later and ea just revealed five more ultimate kickoff cards the two champions the LTD, a house rules card and a field pass card. Obviously tomorrow we're getting both 
Madden 10 cover athletes, Troy Palomalu and Larry Fitzgerald. Both cards look absolutely amazing. And getting started here with Troy Palomalu, he's actually already on the tier list, but the long hair, the 89 speed, 90 zone, 90 hit power, 91 pursuit, this card's gonna be an absolute freak. Not to mention, he does get one AP deep route KO. So Troy Palomalu right to the top of S tier pretty easily. The next man up is, of course, Larry Fitzgerald, six foot three. This card's gonna be straight up nasty after the catch, I can guarantee it. The route running beautiful, the catching, the catching traffic, the jumping, the build, the speed. This card is just beautiful. The card art, oh my goodness, the card art. The Madden 10 card art is just beautiful. I really hope we see this more with the Madden cover card arts. That'd be super cool. Maybe Peyton Hillis this, hey, hey, Peyton Hillis was not in the game last year, though I didn't forget. A lot of us did not forget, but Larry Legend going right into S tier. Good size, good speed, good route running. He's right into that top wide receiver conversation. And if you are trying to choose between Palomalu or Larry Fitzgerald, I would probably just look at your team and see what you need more because I don't know how to choose one over the other. I really don't. Both these cards are equal. The next man up is our limited time tomorrow, Chandler Jones, right end. Apparently, he does get defensive tackle chems as well. And I think he gets Cardinals, Raiders... Patriots chems I believe those are all the teams that he's played for I, I could be missing one but I'm pretty sure I've hit all of them but yeah 83 speed 83 acceleration 90 power moves good finesse moves he's gonna have good traits good against the run good size this card's gonna be a straight up nasty I promise you Chandler Jones is just gonna be an absolute freak so we're gonna throw Chandler Jones as well up here in S tier I do not think he's better than Larry and Troy Palomalo I think he's slightly worse than them but still a super top tier card in the game and for our final two cards, we have the House Rules Julio Jones. Julio usually about six foot three, 85 speed is all right. I mean, 25 House Rules wins for this card. Would I go after him outside of a theme team? Probably not. I just don't think he's really worth it. Apparently he does get short in, but I just don't think he's worth going after. If you have, you know, a Buccaneers or, you know, a Titans or a Falcons team, and then maybe think about it. But outside of that, I don't think so. I, I mean, I don't know if it's worth just playing house rules for Julio. I don't know. And then we also do have the field pass to Ron Armstead. This card's pretty cool. I actually, I mean, I'll naturally get this card. You kind of get him from doing the ultimate kickoff field pass. So I'll probably get him eventually. And he also does come with edge threat, which most 87s cannot get. So edge threat could be good to, you know, counter those edge threats. Say you're playing a guy who's running edge threat, maybe at halftime. Use your halftime adjustment and put on this ability. And uh, I think Teron Armstead might get some usage. His card looks pretty solid. But as far as where we're ranking these guys, I'm going to put Coolio down here with like Robert Woods, Amari Cooper. Honestly, I might put him like in between, but he is like six foot three. And for Teron Armstead, because he does get edge, so I'm going to put him at low A tier. And yeah, that is going to do it for our ultimate kickoff tier list. Apparently, there is a part two coming on September 15th. So maybe I'll make another tier list for that video. But I would say a pretty solid drop. I like the Masters. The Masters are super cool. The card art, the concept, I love it. A lot of the 87s, still a little bit lackluster. I still feel that way. But yeah, I'm a fan of the Masters for sure. Super cool concept by EA. And of course, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications. And as always, I will see you boys in the next one.